champion. We should be able to disagree without calling people bigots. Uh, I, I don't think want to, to make live, people's lives better by giving them somebody else's money. I want to give them the opportunity to go out and earn the money. And I didn't say that. Uh, if you look at it, what I what I started to say is a word and then sort of changed and it sort of blew, it came out and people said I said black. I in did. the poor inner city areas, we're looking at out of wedlock birth rates, you know, in, in three quarters to 75 percent of, of, of children being born out of wedlock. Marriage is an institution that's a bridge too far for too many African-American women and is not desirable in, in, uh, among African-American males. I Here, find it almost remarkable for a, for a, for a black man to say, no, we are going to decide who are people and who are not people. No, this has profound consequence to the entire ecology, moral ecology of America. It will undermine the family. It will destroy faith in America. <coughs> Gay marriage is wrong. As Abraham Lincoln said, the states do not have the right to do wrong. And states don't have the right, just like they didn't have the rights to do slavery. Why? Because it was a morally reprehensible and wrong thing. But uh, the bottom line is whether, whether the court then has the right to create new rights. And in creating new rights, it opens up, in my opinion, Pandora's box, which it did in the case of the Goodrich decision in Massachusetts, which led to gay marriage in Massachusetts, gay marriage yeah, in Iowa, sir, and a whole host of other states. That if, uh, if, if the Supreme Court establishes a right to consensual sexual activity, then it's hard to draw the line between what consensual activity can, is going to be uh, permitted under the Constitution, and it leaves open a long list of consensual activities that, uh, that most people, I think, would find uh, rather unappealing. And so gay sex and incest and polygamy, how dare he do this? And they have gone out on a, I would argue, jihad against Rick Santorum. Corporations are people, my friend. We can raise taxes on... Of course they are. Everything corporations earn ultimately goes to people. So, where do you think it goes? Whose pockets? Whose pockets? People's pockets.